Hey Taurus, welcome back to the channel guys. This is a conversation with your person. Y'all know we're getting to where we do these every week. So it's our weekly conversation with your person. But this conversation is going to be about your person. We want them to get to uh, their energy to focus in on sharing something with you that they wouldn't normally share or talk, talk too much about face to face. Hopefully that's what we'll get. We're using two different decks. We're using Steampunk Gilded Tarot. Pre-shuffle said either deck. So let's go with the Gilded Tarot because it actually gave me the lover's card when I asked. Do we want to use this one for Taurus? It threw out the lover's. So we're going with that one. We'll hold steam, <clears throat> the Steampunk in reserve in case I need to clarify anything. The reading's a little bit different. I will be channeling most of the conversation at the end of the reading. I'll open it up for your person to choose a deck to give you a message from. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, uh, if it just does not sound like your person, because what comes through should always give you confirmation of what you intuitively sense and know about your person. If it doesn't do that, check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You could check that one out and see if I picked up the energy there. See so who's coming forward for my Taurus, the strongest, and what they would like to share with us. What would they want to tell us about their self? It's for my Taurus. For my Taurus. Let's get it going. Oh, we already got one. Oh, we've got indecisiveness, eight of swords, a self-restrictor. Hmm. Indecisive, holding herself back. What else? Oh, new love. They feel really insecure about new love. And they have a lot of anxiety. Anxiety. Needless stress and anxiety. That may actually indicate someone feels like, um, might be saying they have panic anxiety disorder. Because they do uh, feel very self-restricted, indecisive about things. When, especially when they're triggered on uh, feelings of love, uh -huh. new love, that kind of thing. Mm. They immediately go into panic mode. Let's find out a little bit more. Let's go straight to the Nine of Swords. Tell us about that, the anxiety, what happens, what is it over? Tell us, tell us, tell us why. We have an Empress. Hmm, fertility, abundance, page of cups, emotional, um, mm, emotionally vulnerable with a page of cups, three of swords, heartache, sorrow, destruction, oh, okay, hold on, let's go back to these because this may actually have something to do with children. If it's not with children, it's something that happened to them when they were younger. Because we're asking for them to go deep with us. Tell us. Talk about things that are uncomfortable. So that we can understand them better. Three of Wands. Three of Wands is opportunity. Moving forward, opportunity. What else? King of Wands. Leo energy. Fire. Yes. Eight of Cups. Dissatisfaction. Disappointed. Reward. What else? What else? Fairness. Fairness. Balance. Labor. Justice. Okay. So, we might actually, either your person is trying to tell me about um, one of their parents as when they were younger was very dissatisfied was on fire, really wanted to chase after things they were passionate about. Our Leo, King of Wands energy is, you know, that fire energy that uh, pounce and uh, dogmatic um, determination to go after the things you're passionate about. Evidently, this person wasn't passionate about, passionate about kids, family, home, hearth. They had other things they were interested in. Because they were very emotionally unfulfilled and dissatisfied. Uh, it wasn't rewarding uh, t the tangible reward they were getting off of um, family. This could actually represent a mother energy. The empress up here. And they might be representing themselves as the page of cups. Because um, 
it, it would have this person um, feeling like either they left or they just were miserable. Um, could have been mother or father. I got a feeling it was father, a father figure though. Let's make sure. Let's make sure. Hangman. Sacrificed, feeling like things were always taken from them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, evidently I was right because they're restorating uh, what this king of fire was feeling. So it would be the masculine energy, probably father figure in their life. What what this is telling me though, I'll say, because they feel like their dreams were stolen from them. They probably snuck around doing a lot of things. Uh, they always felt stuck. Like they were having to sacrifice and there, nothing ever come up full for them um, with our Seven of Pentacles. That's a harvest card. And it's supposed to be your harvest is coming in. You're reaping a reward. What was the reward? It's the negative side. It, it wasn't something they wanted. But with these two cards, it's telling me the person coming forward. Forest, that heartache, that destruction, they try to be the emotional support of that divine feminine because uh, it would have left the divine feminine, you know, pretty <laughs> upset, lonely, projecting things onto herself, stuff like that. Um, so this person stepped into the role of trying to put a smile on, my, on the divine feminine's face, the emotional support. Uh, where uh, more than likely our King of Wands energy was always out running, ignoring, neglecting uh, the Empress. Uh, this person would have turned turned into the emotional support to try to make the Divine Feminine feel better, like try to make their mother feel better. So, ooh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Wow. Okay, so they are carrying a lot of stress, anxiety, uh, probably panic disorder, panic, uh, anxiety, panic disorder. Uh, when it comes to new love, let's find out the indecisiveness, the restrictiveness. Tell me more about that. Because they're always holding themselves back. Private, they, they, it's hard for them to communicate their real thoughts and feelings towards things. Mm -hmm. Rest, recuperation, the world card. Mm. New phase. Endings. They, they don't handle endings very well. They don't like, uh, how do I put it, drama. Drama, because that's another Leo energy on the Six of Wands. They avoid conflict and drama. Emperor. Ooh. Okay, right there, they're, they're, they're going back over a divine masculine that is very cold, withdrawn, it has, mm, always focused in on uh, building, protecting, being stable, sensible. Like I said, they're not going to share a whole lot of their feelings and stuff with us. They don't like drama whatsoever. Tell me about the world card. What is that representing? King of Cups energy. Scorpio energy. Their vision. Oh, then we got Leo and lovers. Commitment and being strong. So this person very much is in like a protective mode. When it comes to a committed relationship, they, they're they holding a vision that they have to stand in this energy. Mm. Which would be almost, almost identical to what they were witnessing as a, as a child in the Divine Masculine that was chasing after things, but this person would have been more stable. They're more narrowed down. They hold themselves within confinement of doing what is right. They override their heart, and they can come across as cold sometimes because they want to stay in that narrowed box of 
I, thou shalt do this and thou shalt not do that. That kind of thing. They're very narrowed into a dogmatic way of thinking and they can come across a little cold and harsh sometimes because they're holding a vision of their self. Our King of Cups, Scorpio Energy, holds a vision of what it is uh, for the future or they're holding a vision of their self, what they're supposed to be, what relationships are, are supposed to be. Uh, it's the vision of it and the vision they're holding herself in is a cold masculine, always got to think sensible. This person is not going to share their heart too much. Mm -mm. Very caring person though very caring because they tried to constantly be that strong supporter uh, that's going to come from where they were a child and stepped into that role of trying to be the emotional support for divine feminine um when she felt bad they would always try to put a smile on her face or if she felt insecure uh, they would always you know try to reassure her everything was okay things like that they're very private very very private they do not like drama and, and in change. Change is hard for them. With that world card, that saying, because it's a self-restrictor, they, they can't handle change, even when it's a good change. Because we got them over here in this narrowed way of doing things. It's hard for them to be flexible and adaptable outside of the standards of what they're holding in their head of how things are supposed to be. Uh, our king of swords energy is uh, very strategic, flexible, and adaptable, but they do it within a narrow set of ways of like um, law, dogma, uh, how they think things are supposed to be. They know the rules, let's put it that way. They've got a set of rules that they become very strategic within. Now, if you throw out the the image they threw out for their the divine masculine that um king of wands energy that one thinks outside the rules outside of the box always outside of the box uh leo energy can't narrow itself down like that because it's very uh passionate movement fire energy got to uh, take some risk, think outside the box, expand, that kind of thing, where this king is going to be like, no, there's rules you need to follow. So, yeah, very different. And this person has went into that, uh, let's follow the narrow path. The narrow path, the narrow way. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, take the, let's take the path well-traveled and play it safe. Let's put it that way, where uh, the king of wands would be like, no, let's make our own path. Let's see what else they want to talk about. Oh, let's, let's, before we move on, let's get them to talk about the Ace of Cups. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is love. It's romance. It can represent your your um, want for children, family, you know, adding to your blessings to your life. We've got a King of Pentacles, stability, Taurus energy. I always got to be feeling secure, freedom, and independence. Um, what do I mean by freedom and independence? This, this person doesn't want to be alone. They take family foundation very serious. They want it stable. Uh, we're, we're not in lack. But they could very much, like I said, they're going to come across a little bit cold of this is the way things are supposed to be and it's hard to get them to consider outside of that box. Then we have a Knight of Pentacles. They always think things through. Uh-huh. Virgo energy. And Ace of Wands, before they take any kind of action, any passionate action, tell me. Yeah, they they don't they don't make hasty decisions. They're not very adventurous. Let's put it that way. They don't like to take risk. They don't like change too much. On that Ace of Wands, we got a Six of Swords card of passage movement. Yeah, this person is what they're very passionate about is always staying out of the storm, seeing things clearly, following the plan. 
that they in a vision that they have set for how they're supposed to be, how life is supposed to be, how to play it safe. They probably do, like I said, have um, panic anxiety a little bit. If they haven't been diagnosed with it, it would be, you know, they probably do. And may not realize it. I don't know. For some of them, some of us, they may have already been diagnosed. Let's see what else they want to talk about. Let me grab some water, y'all. Let's see what else they want to bring out. Let's ask them. Let's direct it. Let's direct it. Let's ask them how they think this affects uh, the connections and relationships uh, that they get in that they get into. If the, you know, of course, <laughs> Taurus. We're asking them about your connection. How do they think this? What they just shared is affecting the relationship between the two of you. Your connection. Ooh, we got two fell out. Three fell out. We've got balance, justice, Libra, future. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. With, with this, what they're telling me is uh, future it becomes unsure and sometimes unbalanced because that's about being in sync with each other. With this one, it's ruling the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They feel like they get on your nerves. They wear you out. And they drain you of your energies. Mm -hmm. That their want of staying in that narrowed uh, air energy. Libra rules uh, our king of swords. Um, you know, the air energies. The future is, you know, they, they Aquarius again. <laughs> the Aquarius king of swords energy. That they, they do wear you out. Mm -hmm. that you get t that you get tired of them and that ten of swords would have somebody moving on so they do and it may just be in their head mm -hmm. and it may not i mean you may be going yep mm -hmm. they do they got my nerves can't take no more of them. <laughs> but let's see if there's anything else so just so you'll know they they do feel like they they wear you out mm -hmm. drain you drain you the Ten of Swords is drained of energies and, yeah. Let's see what else they want to talk about here. Ooh, how many we get? We'll take them. All two of Cups, compromises and sacrifices, romance, partnership. But it's equal exchange of energy, compromises and sacrifices. All tradition, that Taurus. They need to lighten up, yep, joy, and make some changes. Break the pattern of what they've been doing. Because mm -hmm. they really do want, want a, a good relationship where there's not an, an unbalanced give and take within the relationship and where they're not coming across, you know, as so... Um, dogmatic dogmatic with our hair font and just lighten up they really want to lighten up mm. tell me about the two of cups tell me about that um possessive holding on uh, always afraid to go and lose what's precious to them feeling like they're going to be left behind that feeling like to put it this way that they feel like they're a disappointment, a disappointment to you. And a Knight of Wands, they're not very adventurous. Mm -hmm. That's our mover shaker on things that are they're passionate about. Ah, uh, and yeah, <laughs> we got Taurus energy all over this, guys. But it's not representing you. It's representing your person's need for. Stability for things to stay regular. How do I put it? They don't like anything that changes, but they they recognize they need to change this pattern. But it, it it's going to be hard for them because it triggers anxiety for them big time. They need to lighten up, have fun, because they really they really do feel like they're a disappointment to you. They don't want to lose you because you're precious to them. Over here on that, um, 
four of pentacles. But uh, just that stability of, of knowing everything's going to stay the same. Happy home and heart. Heaven on earth bliss card. And they're battle weary for what fighting their own demons in this. So, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Taurus, they would be, as much as I hate saying it, they would be the shadow side of your Taurus energy. They would outdo you any day on your own, own shadow energy. <laughs> oh, on wanting to be stubbornly persistent, uh, stubborn about things, uh, not liking to take any kind of risk. Uh, and we might be telling them with that Three of Cups energy to lighten up lighten up or you know because from what your person is feeling thinking they're pushing you to that ten of swords of really drained and getting tired of dealing with them i've got the sun card truth and clarity two of pentacles they're wanting to change uh eight of cups dissatisfaction turning point but also about making sacrifices and hermit they're working on their self that's they evidently heard me talking to you because <laughs> they're like they're like coming out with i'm trying i'm working with myself it is very dissatisfying my own behaviors i want to change and that's the truth Ooh, taurus Okay, guys, let's go ahead and open the reading up. See if your person wants to pick a deck to give you a message. Give you a message. Let's see what they're going to pick. Let me get this over out of the way. There we go. It's for my Taurus, their person. Their person, whatever you want to say. Hmm. Oh my goodness, I'm feeling it on our one of our new decks, but it's on the feminine inner the feminine side. Divine feminine, divine masculine speak mirroring dialogues from the heart. But just because it's uh, on the feminine energy, don't let that throw you. It, it's just the energy, guys. Somebody's feeling a little soft <laughs> and wants to, to go to the heart. And this person, I can understand because that's hard for them. They're always in the head and holding herself in that vision they see for herself oh you made me feel something this was confusing mm -hmm. this was confusing what else right here i realized i was selfish i feel ashamed of that mm. what else right here Do you feel the same as you once did, or have I missed my chance? Oh my God, that's the big fear that they brought out of losing you, that you just completely hit a ten of swords with them, and like, I'm done, I can't take your cray-cray shit. Um, oh, excuse me, <laughs> no more. <laughs> I didn't think I could be what you needed or wanted me to be. Mm -hmm. Anything else? I think of you often, and I can still feel you. Ooh, they feel a, a distance between us. Even if we're together, guys, we can they we can feel a gap between us in the energetic level. I think your person thinks you you're just tired, fed up with them. You might be the one that's battle weary. I don't. I don't. I don't feel this way with anyone else. Oh. Did we get that? I don't feel this way with anyone else. Anything else? Anything else? Yep. I'm trying to do this with my head, not my heart. Yes, they are. And that stemmed from childhood. Childhood. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to let you go. I just didn't know where to go with this. I put it in present tense. I don't want to let you go. And I don't know where to go with this. I fantasize about how life would be with you. If I can make these changes. This is the real thing. I know. A 
That's why they're taking it so serious. I dream of you. I dream of you. And last one, guys. I'm sorry. I was mean to you. It was a defense mechanism. Oh. Okay, my Taurus, that's all I have for us, because I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings, as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.